This is the NEA walkthrough for EDUCAST GCSE Music Component 1 Performing. What are the general requirements for this NEA component performing? You will need to perform a minimum of two pieces, one of which must be an ensemble performance of at least one minute duration. The other piece or pieces may be solo or ensemble. One of the pieces you perform must link to an area of study of your choice. Please see the four areas of study as found in the specification. Before you begin, your performances must be recorded in the year of assessment, which is usually year 11. You may perform at any time during the year in consultation with your teacher. It may be a good idea to ask to record as soon as you feel that each piece is ready. Your performances will be recorded and must take place with your teacher present. You must perform at least two pieces and can perform further pieces to fulfil the time requirement. The total duration of your performances should be four to six minutes to include at least one minute of ensemble performance. Try to perform within this time requirement, timing each piece well in advance in order to help you plan your performances. Remember, you don't have to perform a solo if you don't want to. If you do not meet the minimum time requirement, a penalty will be applied, meaning that some marks will be deducted. You must meet the deadlines your teacher gives you. Remember, your teachers are there to guide you, and although they can't give you direct assistance, they can help you sort out any problems. Planning a solo. Choose a piece or pieces that you feel confident in performing. Again, discuss your choice of piece with your teacher. They will advise you on the difficulty levels. The standard level is grade three, but it is important that you do not choose a piece which is of a higher standard than you are able to perform. Check the timings of your piece or pieces, leaving out long introductions, etc. Remember the total duration of your performances is four to six minutes. Avoid performing for under four minutes or your marks will be penalised. One piece must link to one of the four areas of study. This could be solo or ensemble. The four areas of study may be found in the specification. Again, a copy of your music must be available. Where this is impossible, a detailed lead sheet must be provided. Speak to your teacher if there is a problem providing this. As you perform, think about the three assessment strands. Is your performance accurate? Are you demonstrating good technique and intonation? And is your performance expressive? Before recording, perform in front of your family, friends and teachers and act on any advice they may give you. Your teacher will mark your performing using the assessment criteria for component one, performing. You will be assessed on accuracy, are your rhythm and pitch secure? Is the tempo appropriate? And did you follow performance directions such as dynamics, articulation, etc.? Technical control. Are your technique and intonation secure? And did you project well using control of timbre? Expression and interpretation. Was your performing expressive? Did you communicate it well to your audience or teacher? And did you demonstrate rapport and balance with other performers? This is the NEA walkthrough for EDUCAST GCSE Music Component 2, Composing. The NEA for Component 2 is worth 30% of the total marks for GCSE Music. You need to compose two pieces with a total recommended playing time of 3 to 6 minutes. The first will focus on a brief that will be issued by WJEC in September for submission in the summer term. The second is a free composition where you have the freedom to choose the brief and the musical style. The pieces are assessed individually, not together. The recordings of your pieces should be submitted as MP3 files. They may be computer generated or live recordings. The score is a copy of the musical notation of the piece, completed on a computer program or handwritten if you prefer and scanned. A lead sheet is a form of notation that outlines the essential musical elements of the piece, such as the melody, the chords or harmony, and the lyrics if it is a song. 
Include as many musical details as you can, for example dynamics, structure, rhythm and time signature. The candidate log includes a cover sheet for the required signatures and authentication from you and your teacher, with details of the composing process. You will be required to write original compositions. The piece written in response to the set brief will be linked to an area of study. The areas of study are musical forms and devices, music for ensemble, film music and popular music. A choice of set briefs will be issued by WJEC at the beginning of the academic year in which you will complete the examination. Each of the set briefs will be linked to an area of study. For your free composition, you must set your own brief. You may link this to an area of study if you wish. You will have a choice of four set briefs issued by the board and you will need to choose one. For the free composition, you must respond to a different brief and you can make up your own. The brief must be written for an occasion or a particular type of audience. You must aim to include some kind of specific musical detail in the brief, i.e. a device, a musical style or a type of structure. Here are some examples. Compose a piece of music in rondo form that is to be performed in an end-of-term school concert. Compose music for a car chase scene in a gangster film. Compose a rock song for performance in a summer youth music festival. Compose a piece for performance in a music department concert which makes use of imitation. Compose a piece for ensemble which is intended for use in a dance scene and a musical of your choice. Once you have decided on your brief for a composition, decide what musical elements or combination of elements are best suited to the topic that you have chosen for the piece. One of the first things the assessment criteria refer to is the quality of your initial ideas. This slide shows what you need to present to get good marks. If you look at the official assessment criteria in the specification, you will see that they are in three columns and there are four marking bands for each of the columns. You can use these yourselves to consider how successfully you have achieved each of the criteria in your piece. They may give you some idea of what else to do or how to improve what you have already done. The assessment criteria are what the teacher will use to assess your work. EDUCAS GCSE Music Exam Guidance for Students The aims of this presentation are to help you prepare to undertake the GCSE Music Listening Exam and to be able to achieve your best. By the end of this session, you should be aware of the structure of the exam, the three main areas which the questions will focus on, the types of questions you can expect, and how you can best avoid making common errors. The GCSE Music Exam is a listening and appraising test. It is worth 40% of the total marks for GCSE Music. There are eight questions, two on each area of study. The areas of study are always in the same order, with the set works covered in question one and question seven. Forms and Devices is an area of study that covers music running from 1650 to 1910 and includes looking at various different structures such as binary, ternary, minuet and trio, rondo and variation, as well as strophic forms. There are various key terms that will need to be learnt and applied to each different style of structure, for example repetition or sequence. There is a set work in this area of study, which is J.S. Bach's Badaneri, and that will be for a string orchestra with harpsichord and will include some of these key terms. Music for Ensemble covers a wide variety of different types of music, including uh, groups like vocal ensembles, jazz or blues trios, rhythm sections, string quartets, basso continuo and sonatas. This style of music encompasses time periods all the way back from 1600s to present day 
and could come up in a variety of forms in the exam. Film music is without doubt one of the most interesting areas of study in the exam component and students will be looking at a wide variety of timbres, tones and dynamics. How composers use different elements, how they use light motifs and ideas throughout pieces of music. Performers will interpret composition and how the composer has created the piece of music to fit the venue or film and how to create different colours and moods. Popular music will be covering various different styles of music within the genre. For example, pop, rock, bangra and fusion and other styles of pop music to the present day. There is a set work of Africa by Toto released in 1982 that will be used for assessment moving forwards from this year, 2023. Each work covered in the area of study popular music will include a variety of different keywords that students will need to learn. For example, 32 bar song form, 12 bar blues, uh, what an instrumental break is, how to use loops, samples and any other types of music technology that might be included and how from uh, the 1950s onwards uh, up until the present day, these have been used in a variety of different styles of music. <laughs> 